Hello, hello. What's up? It's Catherine. This is my life once the clock hits 4 p.m. And if you are new here, I work in tech sales and live in San Francisco. The very first thing I try to do before I leave the office is to write a gratitude note. So any happy, positive, funny thing that happened that day, I just go ahead and write that down, fold the sucker up, and leave it for my future self to read, usually at the end of the year or whenever I'm feeling down. This really helps me anchor the end of my day on a very positive note, especially if it's been a particularly hard or shitty day. And once I pack up and leave my office, I actually head to my other office building where our bigger gym is. Will you come back? Will you come back? Deja vu strings me along. I put you in a music box, try to move on. You're still playing hard strings and I'm still singing. I freaking love having a gym so close. My gym used to be about 20 minutes away from my house, and I found that once you sit down on the couch, it becomes game over, and it's super hard to get yourself to get back up and go to the gym. So this way, I have no excuses. I am very thankful and privileged to have this. I think I remember your laugh with mine. I think I remember- Typically, and full disclaimer, I am no expert when it comes to the gym. I will do 20 minutes of cardio. It looks like I killed the game on the Stairmaster, but only one other person had gone. Then I usually do some sort of glutes, tries, or abs. I'm very specific about the muscle groups I want to work. You'll notice I am pretty damn weak, but I am really going to the gym for my long-term health, so I just try to get, you know, 40 minutes of exercise at least in three to four times a week. Ah, uh, stretching. Something I ignored for many years. Here I am prioritizing it because it is those long and lean muscles that are going to keep us mobile in our golden years, people. Assuming we get to them, cross our fingers. You can see I was particularly vain this day, mostly because a new rule I've established is I only let myself wash my hair after I've gone to the gym as a motivation tactic to force me to get in there. And at this point, I was on fifth day hair. So I felt refreshed once I had washed it. And also the gym bathroom lighting is unparalleled. I have to thank it for several self-esteem boosts it has given me over the past year. In all seriousness, if you're curious about my beauty routine, it has gotten ridiculously simple these days. I don't even use heat on my hair. I just let it air dry. You won't see me wear any makeup in this video, not because I condemn it, but just because I realized that I didn't feel professional unless I was wearing some form of makeup on my face. When on the other hand, men never wear makeup and can still look professional. So this is half a feminist affront for me and half sheer laziness. Being honest, it's probably a 30-70 split there. But once I'm done basking in the glory of this mirror lighting, I head on out to take my favorite form of transportation, which is public transportation. On this day, it was not my favorite because the bus never came at the time it was supposed to. So I was standing there for an extra 20 minutes, but I let myself have a little leisure and watch an episode of The Reality House season two. Um, I would say as a guilty pleasure, but I don't feel all that guilty watching it. So there you go. As soon as I get home, I have to address my messy, messy, messy room. It gets out of hand at times. This day was one of those days. I wanted to be fully honest about the state of my room and also share with you a tip that my mom has always told me, which is Ohio, an acronym which stands for only handle it once, not the great Midwestern state of Ohio. That rule basically means if you are going to take off your shoes at the end of the day, put them away on your shoe rack right then and there instead of just leaving them on the floor for you to take care of later. Keeps you accountable, keeps your life in a spectacular state of order. It's really just so simple. And you can see me here trying to embrace that in this very soothing cleaning montage. So enjoy. We met on a summer day in June. Sit you headed on the way to Malibu. From the east coast, California snow. You couldn't 
then I was impossibly hungry and it was dinner time. On this day, I actually had leftovers from a few days before, which was stir fry. So I cooked some rice and served that up. Not to be forgotten is Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel seasoning. Conservatively, you use this on avocado toast. When you're feeling risky, sprinkle it on top of some stir fry. The sesame and other collection of tidbits in that seasoning brings out a great renewed flavor that I enjoyed alongside my roommate and Ruby. Then, according to my Ohio method, it was time to wash those dishes that I'd ate on and we actually don't have a dishwasher in our apartment, which I personally like because it keeps me much more on top of my dishes. So I clean those off and put them in the drying rack. And then at this point, it is my quote unquote free time. Sometimes I have so much work from the nine to five to catch up on that I'm working a couple extra hours. On a good day, I will do one of four things. Option A is to scroll around on my iPhone for an unprecedented amount of time. That feels like two minutes, but actually ends up being more like 50, which just eats the time up for the rest of the night. Or B, I could be sucked into a show I'm watching, in this case, Succession, and do nothing but watch continuous episodes and edit Instagram stories. Option C is to FaceTime a friend, which is a socially responsible thing to do that I only really get around to once a month, if I'm being honest. I'm sorry, friends, I'll do better, I hope. And then option D, the last resort, is being productive with my remaining hours and either planning out future travel, um, editing YouTube work, responding to emails, you know, something I've been putting off that I should probably get around to doing. But on this night, I actually got changed into my PJs and got ready for bed right after dinner because I have this problem with late night snacking. It feels like lately people are canceling eating outside the hours of 11 to 7. Thank you to intermittent fasting. I don't do anything too extreme, but I try to stop myself from eating after 8 p.m. to curb my habit of overeating. So by flossing and brushing my teeth, I am rendered unable to eat. It's how I scheme around my stomach's wishes. So here I am pulling out my floss, you just will not see me flossing in my past night routines. Why? Because I genuinely did not do it. But I picked up the habit because it literally takes 30 seconds and you'll always be surprised to find what was in between your teeth for, you know, countless hours of the day. So I live to floss now. Brushing has always been great. I do it for a full, no cheating, two minutes. And it's time for cleanser. I wash my face with a Curology cleanser, which I love, 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 love. Wash that off. And then for the rest of my skincare routine, I use a lot of Banish products because it is a brand specifically formulated for people with acne prone skin and either have active acne or acne scarring, of which I'm in the latter category. I'm very, very happy and grateful to pee in that category. And the way I'm trying to preserve my relatively acne free skin is first with this pumpkin enzyme mask, which I'll admit has a questionable color, but the results are not to be questioned. It tingles, it really revitalizes my skin, tightens it up, it evens out the dryness and moisture. So I just let that sit on my skin for 10 minutes while I enjoy more endless scrolling on my phone. And then I come back, wash it off, and get started with the Banisher, which is a microdermabrasion kit from Banish. I wanted to work with them as a sponsor for this exact product. Every one of my favorite skin influencers uses this brand and I've seen some crazy outcomes. So with the amount of acne scarring I do have, unfortunately, I needed to try something to actively repair my skin. So essentially, there are a ton of little tiny gold spines on this that help your skin. And first you have to clean it off with rubbing alcohol. You pour up to a certain line and then let your banisher sit um, in the rubbing alcohol for five minutes. Then you can dry it out and start applying it to your face. It's a pretty easy technique. You basically rest it on your problem areas and twist it just a bit. So I'll do that all around my face about three to four times per area. Okay. 
and between presses you rotate the banisher 90 degrees to get a really even application and you have to finish off with something that will completely moisturize your skin. Vanish has this banish oil which I just put in a cotton round and then pat on my face. You actually can't wear makeup for eight hours after the banisher, which is why it works well at night, because you have to give your skin the time to heal and repair itself. They also have this phenomenal vitamin C cream, which is super, super hydrating because I've had a little bit of dry skin this winter. But before you see me put in my retainer, I did want to share my promo code, which is Catherine, all lowercase. I'll link the website down below, but that code will get you $5 off your order of 50 and up. I'll have all the products I use in this video and more linked down below. I cannot genuinely get enough of these products. It feels very foolproof to use these. They've been vetted, they've been tried and tested and loved. So if you wanna give your skin some deep care, try out Banish, I love them. But to continue on, as the dutiful orthodontic alum that I am, I put my retainer in every night without fail, take my contacts out and head back to my bedroom. So here's really my favorite part of the night, which is getting under the covers to shield myself from these cold, cold San Francisco nights. So my bedtime is usually 9.30 because I get up at six to go to work at seven. So if I haven't procrastinated on getting ready for bed and I have a few spare moments before my bedtime of 9.30, I will treat myself to go buck wild and do whatever I want. Could be journaling, I could be catching up on YouTube, I could just be Googling random things, who knows, but it's a really peaceful time. I do try to journal for at least a few minutes before I go to bed every night to practice some mindfulness. And then, fun little party trick, I actually installed a smart light in my room so it connects to my phone and I can just control the lighting from there, turn it off when I'm ready, and typically play some sort of white noise or Headspace Sleepcast to help me fall asleep. I have to confess, I didn't really know why night routines have persisted so many years on YouTube. I feel like I never watched these. So in preparation for this video, I fell down a rabbit hole of night routines and I have to say, now I get it. Now I get why those of you watching right now made it to the end. These are so soothing to watch. I hope I delivered that for you all. If not, subscribe and I promise I'll make up for it in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time and Cather out.